Imagine being able to experience zero gravity like the astronauts on the International Space Station. One Norwalk Public School teacher will be able to do just that over the summer thanks to a grant from Fund for Teachers. It's astronaut training. I mean, this is what I want, always I really wanted to be an astronaut when I grew up. I did. Either that or play shortstop for the Mets. And, well, I couldn't hit the curveball. So, so, you know, being an astronaut would be nice. I mean, let's face it, John Glenn flew in space when he was, what, 75 years old? Maybe there's still a shot for me. I mean, that would be so cool. Andrew Pierce is one of eight Norwalk Public School teachers who received grants for self-designed fellowships from Fund for Teachers. I was thinking to myself, well, what do I do here that's a little bit different? And the first thing that popped into my head was young astronauts. And there have been so many kids who've gone through the program through the years. I mean, I've had hundreds of kids. Uh, even in the kindergartners, they always say, oh, I want to be in the mission when I get to fifth grade, which is what I do. And I thought to myself, how can I bring the magic and wonder of what I do in the mission um, to something that can make them even more excited about this? The thing that's beautiful about it is they're going to do it this summer, and then they're going to come back and immediately bring that back to their students in the classroom, but not just for one year. This experience is going to be forever. So every year for the rest of their career, those students they have are going to have the benefit of the experience that they had. Pierce has been a teacher at Columbus Magnet School for over 10 years, and each year he inspires his young astronauts to think outside the box and out of this world. There used to be experiments that went on board the shuttle years ago that were designed by students. I said, well, maybe I'll have each grade come up with an experiment and maybe I can bring that on board. We'll have to see and maybe it'll be one of those things that they say, yeah, what would it be like if this happens when you're weightless? What's going to happen? Pierce will travel to Camp Canaveral to participate in NASA's zero gravity workshop and bring back what he learned to his young astronauts. The airplane will probably have video of this so I can bring that back so they can actually see it. And if some of them say, I want to do that, I say, you can. That's the whole thing. You can. You just got to really you have to apply yourself in everything. I mean, not just math and science. You've got to apply yourself in everything, even in music and art. You've just got to be dedicated. You just can want everything. Do the best you possibly can. We do not know the impact that what they learn in these experiences may have on one child or multiple students down the road who could be life-altering or career-altering. Maybe sometimes you just need somebody to say, you can do this. You don't have to settle for second best. You can go off and be weightless. You can, you can live these dreams. Why not? Why not? This year's Young Astronauts launch is set for May 7th, with the Young Explorers heading back to Earth on May 8th. Reporting from the It's Relevant studio, I'm Quijerpa Crawfee.